Hey everyone, welcome you to my video. In previous video, I discussed about uh, jacquard similarity. So in this video, we are going to talk about jacquard distance. Okay, so if you know jacquard similarity, it is used uh, to measure the similarities between two documents, right? And jacquard distance talks about the distance or dissimilarities between two documents. So basically, if you have two text documents or any two objects, and if you wanted to see how different they are or how, uh, you know, uh, how much it is dissimilar to each other, then we can use this jacquard distance. So basically, we can tell that jacquard distance is a measure of distance. <clears throat> or dissimilarity between two documents. Okay. And basically this is uh, calculated by one minus jacquard similarity. So jacquard distance uh, depends on jacquard similarity. So if you calculate jacquard similarity and you can calculate the jacquard distance as well, okay? But we, in, uh, we also have function, uh, <clears throat> jacquard distance function, uh, which we can import it from NLTK library, okay? So I'll show you uh, how to do it. And the range of this JD, it ranges between, it actually ranges between zero and one. Okay, so lower the distance, more the similarity, okay, between two objects or between two documents that you have taken, okay. So now let me show you how to uh, calculate jacquard distance from NLTK library. So if you uh, know, this NLTK library is a powerful NLP library, okay. Basically, when you, when you uh, deal with... Uh, natural languages, or let's say, uh, if you are going to process some human language, we use this NLTK library. Okay, it has many programs or functions which uh, which can work with uh, human language data. Okay, so let's import this library. Here we are going to use this jacquard distance from this library. So let's first import it. And here I'm going to take two documents. So initially I'll take just a word. And let's find the similarity between or the distance between these two documents. So now let's uh, call jacquard distance from NLTK. So I need to pass both the documents. So it tells that the distance between these two documents are 0 0.25. So as I told, it will be ranging between zero and one, right? And you can see that the distance is actually less, isn't it? So as I told, if the distance is less, then Similarity will be more, isn't it? So you can see these two words, you know, very uh, close to each other. So you have got the uh, distance score as very less. Now let me take another um, example. So here I'm going to take a sentence. So this is one sentence I've taken. So here I have two sentences. Let me see how similar or how dissimilar they are. Okay. So let's use this yes. 
so it says that the distance is 0 0.46 right so you can see uh, how you know uh, this is a simple sentence i have taken so you can see uh, how many words are you know common and based on all that you will get this check our distance score so basically when the distance is less it is more similar or it 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 is close to each other right so here in this case, if you see in this example, it's uh, both are very close to each other. So the distance score is very less. And here, if you see, we have, uh, you know, uh, the jacquard distance based on what sentence we have taken here. So it tells how much, uh, you know, uh, difference it is, how much difference we can see between these two documents. So whenever you wanted to, uh, compare or find the dissimilarity between two documents, you can use this jacquard distance. Okay, thank you.